Uh, let's talk a little bit about how cupping affects tracking. If you've joined us before, if you've ever seen any of our training or our literature or our books or our articles or anything like that, or our pre-recorded webinar on belt tracking, you've heard us kind of say that belt tracking can be caused either from operating conditions or equipment conditions. Okay, a belt that's cupped is an equipment condition. To understand how belts that are cupped affect tracking, it's really important to explore the statement that you're seeing on your screen. So that statement, and I say it very often, that all rolling components steer the belts. In order for a rolling component to steer the belt correctly, that rolling component must be clean. It can't be built up with material. It's got to be rolling. If it's seized, it's gonna cause the belt to mistrack and it must be aligned. So all rolling components, whether it's the head pulley, tail pulley, bend pulleys, carrying idlers or return idlers, all those rolling components have influence on the belt's steer ability. In order for those rolling components to have a positive influence on the belt's steerability, they must be clean, rolling, aligned, and number four, they must be touching. So belts that are cupped, like you see in the photograph on your right, belts that are cupped are not making proper contact with the return roll, that's gonna cause that belt to be influenced differently, which could lead to belt mistracking. So we wanna keep good contact between our rollers and our belt and cupped belts work against us on that. 